The entertainment world is buzzing with controversy as Rebel Wilson and Sasha Baron Cohen find themselves at the center of attention. Wilson, known for her comedic prowess and candid nature, has sparked headlines with revelations in her upcoming memoir, Rebel Rising. In the book, she doesn't hold back in labeling a certain actor as an a-hole, a revelation she has now confirmed to be Sasha. Now, all eyes are on the unfolding details of this unexpected feud between Rebel and Sasha. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch. And in this video, we will be talking about the details about the Rebel Wilson and Sasha Baron Cohen controversy. Rebel's Instagram Post In an Instagram post on March 15, 2024, Rebel Wilson had opened about a massive a-hole she encountered in the industry. The actress shared that she intended to dedicate a whole chapter to this person, but did not reveal the person's name. Do you want to know why I have a no a-holes policy now with people I work with? Well, it's all in the book, she teased her Rebel Rising memoir. In the video, she mentioned her initial impression upon arriving in Hollywood, where she encountered individuals claiming to uphold a no a-hole policy. Initially, she found this notion reasonable or logical. However, over time, she came to realize that this referred specifically to the older figures in the industry. She then went on to describe a particular individual, whom she labeled as a massive a-hole, and noted that he can be found in Chapter 23 in her memoir. Rebel calls Sasha as a-hole named in her book. On the night of March 24, 2024, the Pitch Perfect actress posted an Instagram story that reads, I will not be bullied or silenced by high-priced lawyers or PR crisis managers. The a-hole that I am talking about in one chapter of my book is Sasha Baron Cohen, she added of the upcoming Rebel Rising a memoir. Rebel has previously expressed discomfort during the production of the 2016 film The Brothers Grimsby alongside Sasha. In older posts, the Australian actress had referred the massive a-hole whom she had once worked that the unidentified star had hired a crisis PR team and had started sending her threats after she claimed she would dedicate a whole chapter to him in her memoir and expose his behavior. During a radio show in 2014, Rebel implied that he had urged her to go naked in the comedy, prompting her to threaten to contact their shared agent and report his behavior as harassment. Every day he is like, just go naked, it will be funny. Remember in Borat when I did that naked scene? It was hilarious, the actress said. On the last day, I thought I'd obviously won the argument, and he got a body double to do the naked scene. However, when it came to shoot the final scene in Grimsby, in the radio interview Rebel claimed that Sasha asked her to stick her finger up his butt. But when she pointed out that it was not in the script, Rebel claimed Sasha said, Look, I'll just pull down my pants, you just stick your finger up my butt, it'll be a really funny bit. She further alleged that a male star who sexually harassed her had tried to destroy her career and that she was later threatened by one of the star's representatives to be nice. Sasha rejects Rebel's a-hole characterization and demonstrably false claims. Sasha dismissed Rebel's allegations in her upcoming memoir that he exhibited behavior described as massive a-hole during the production of the 2016 comedy, The Brothers Grimsby. In a statement through a spokesman via deadline, they emphasized the significance of speaking out, but asserted that the allegations are unfounded. They stated that the claims are contradicted by substantial evidence, including contemporaneous documents, film footage, and eyewitness accounts from those present before, during, and after the production of the Brothers Grimsby. More developments are expected as Sasha continues to advocate his stance. While Rebel recounts in her memoir that Sasha exerted pressure on her to participate in scenes that caused discomfort, he will assert that all intimate scenes adhered to established guidelines and contractual obligations. He will further argue that any alleged requests were documented by the cameraman on the movie set and followed a script that had received approval from all actors involved. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you want to watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com. You want to watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. Sasha's wife Isla Fisher says he can be a disaster to live with. In an article published by Daily Mail on March 26, 2024, Isla Fisher, wife of Sasha, said that the actor can be difficult to live with when in character on a film set. 
Both Rebel and Sasha, as reported by Isla Fisher, have exchanged assertions and rebuttals regarding Sasha's purported habit of obsessively embodying his characters, such as Borat and the dictator, even outside of filming. This exchange comes eight years after their collaboration. In one of her interviews in 2016, Isla expressed her embarrassment over his behavior in social situations, noting that he fails to distinguish between the deliberate comedic gaffes he portrays in his characters and the unintentional faux pas he makes as her husband. She speculated that Sasha might be rehearsing for the humorous mistakes his characters make in films, but she remained unsure if that was his true motive, suggesting that he may be unable to control himself. Rebel claims others have told her stories of working with Sasha. On March 26, 2024, in an Instagram story, Rebel thanked everyone who has sent gorgeous messages of support to her, as well as those people who shared with her their stories about Sasha. She reassured that she would not be intimidated or coerced by him. She stated that she is diligently working behind the scenes to ensure the publication of her book, emphasizing that Sasha was only the subject of one chapter, not the entirety of her autobiography. What do you think about the Rebel Wilson and Sasha Baron Cohen controversy? Whose side are you on? Did we miss anything or anyone that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time, watchers. Thank you for watching our video.